Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate today San Martin de Porres. Let his unconditional love and charity for others be our inspiration today as we live our Christian faith. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who led said San Martin de Porres by the path of humility to heavenly glory, grant that we may so follow his radiant example in this life as to merit to be exalted with him in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, we are the circumcision. We worship through the Spirit of God who boasts in Christ Jesus and do not put our confidence in flesh. Although I myself have grounds for confidence even in the flesh. If anyone else thinks he can be confident in flesh, all the more can I. Circumcised on the eighth day of the race of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrew parentage, in observance of the law, a Pharisee, in zeal, I persecuted the church. In righteousness, based on the law, I was blameless. But whatever gains I had, this I have come to consider a loss because of Christ. More than that, I even consider everything as a loss because of the supreme good of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds, Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought. His portents and the judgments he has uttered. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Please stand. to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus, but the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, this man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So Jesus addressed this parable to them. What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it? And when he does find it, 
he sets it on his shoulders with great joy. And upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman, having ten coins and losing one, would not light a lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully until she finds it? And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found the coin that I lost. In just the same way I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our readings for today's Mass, we are taught how God sees us. How God sees our value. Sa atin pong mga pagbasa ngayon, ay tinuturo sa atin, paano nga ba tayo tinitingnan ng Panginoon? Paano kaya sinusukat ng Panginoon ang halaga natin sa Kanya? In our Gospel reading today, we are taught that God does not measure our value based on our mistakes. We may think that the more mistake you commit, the less valuable you are to God. No. You see, in our Gospel reading today, the lost coin and the lost sheep was even more valuable to God than to the 99 righteous ones. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, we are not measured by God based on our mistakes. He measures our value by His love for us. But in our first reading also, we are reminded by St. Paul that we are also not measured not only by our mistakes, but God does not also measure our successes or victories in life, or whatever gains you have for your life. That is why St. Paul said in our first reading, all the gains that I had in life, things that I can be proud of, all of these in front of God are losses. The only measure of value that I have for myself is knowing Christ Jesus, our Lord. So, let us be careful in looking at our self-worth. How do you measure your self-worth? Do you measure your self-worth by your mistakes? Kaya ang iba sa atin, takot na takot magkamali. Kasi sinusukat ang sarili sa bilang ng pagkakamali niya. At yung iba naman sa atin, we become too proud when we have successes and gains in life. 
as if our life will be measured by the number of your success and victories. My dear brothers and sisters, God looks at us not based on our mistakes or success. We are valuable to God because He loves us. That is God's unconditional, immeasurable love. My dear brothers and sisters, we learn today from San Martin de Porres. He has a dark colored skin. Like many of us, hindi naman ko tayo puti. Like San Martin de Porres, we are natives in the colonies. But San Martin de Porres did not judge himself by the color of his skin. He did not look down on himself. But instead, he looked at himself as God's beloved. And when you have a healthy self-worth, how you look at yourself will also be the same way on how you look at other people. San Martin de Porres looked at himself as God's beloved. And so, he also looked at others as God's beloved. He did not choose whether he would serve only the rich or the powerful. He also served the poor, the sick, and the dirty ones. When you have a healthy self-worth, then you would also look at others with the eyes of God. I can see here, uh, I think you are, I don't know if you are postulants or novices in the religious life. You are under formation. Naaalala ko nung seminarista kami. Many times, when you are under formation, you always feel afraid to commit mistakes because your formator is with you. So I'm sure uh, you are afraid to, uh, to say something, do something, because the formator is looking at you. And sometimes when you commit a mistake, you feel, oh, I am not worthy to be a sister. I'm not worthy to be a religious because of this mistake. God reminds us, that He will not measure His love for you by, his, by, by your mistakes. God values you, and therefore, He has called you. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Eucharist, we are reminded that God's love is unconditional. He does not measure our value by our mistakes or even by our success. God values us because He loves us. May we learn how to have a healthy self-worth through God's eyes so that we could also treat others through the love and immeasurable charity of God. Amen. Please stand. The Lord is the shepherd who knows each one of us by name. Let us offer our prayers to God, trusting in His personal love for us. For every petition, let us say, Lord, in your great love, answer us. Lord, in your great love, answer us. That the church may be a living sign of genuine concern, and dedicated care for those who are rejected by society. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, in your great love, answer us. That those who have drifted away from the paths of righteousness may hear the voice of Christ, the Good Shepherd, calling them home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your great love, answer us. That young people who have wandered into vice, crime, or prohibited drugs may find their true self and dignity and return to the house of God through forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your great love, answer us. That all who suffer or are, tri or are tried by sickness may realize that they are loved by God through the care and attention we give them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your great love, answer us. That the dead may pass through the gate of the sheepfold and rejoice with the shepherd and guardian of their souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your great love, answer us. Most gentle Father, you guide us along the right path. Hear our prayers and bless each one of us in the way you know best. May we follow wherever you lead us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May these offerings of our service placed on your altar in commemoration of Blessed Martin de Porres, be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray, and grant that, released from earthly attachments, we may have our riches in you alone. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. 
Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, San Martin de Porres, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, 
we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. By the power of this sacrament, Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love through the example of San Martin de Porres and bring to fulfillment the good work you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh,